Hey everybody, it's LogicBomb82 here from the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Hellion server. It's uh, been about a year since I've up since I've done this video, so this is an update of it. They've added a lot of new features, and there's a big patch coming out in a couple days. Where they've add, they're going to add a new ship, they're changing the nav system. They've d they're doing a lot of quality of life improvements to the game, which I'm really excited for. So look forward to that here in the here in the coming days. So I want to give a couple shout outs here. First to the developers, you know, Gravity. They've been great to work with. They really listen to the community. Can't praise them high enough. They gave me a free key to give away. And if you go to my website, minecraftunion.com, you join the Steam group right here where it says join the MCU Steam group. Click on that link. You want to hit the join group and you want to also follow, follow it too. And then you'll be entered for a monthly contest. I give away free games every month. It's usually three to four titles. Sometimes they're pretty big. I've given away uh, um, Kerbal Space Program last month. And this month, like I said, Hellion's going to be the main game. So pretty excited for that. Please join up. And like I said, you're entered every month just for being a member. So pretty easy to do. The other thing you want to do if you go to my website, I'm currently running a St. Jude's Children's Hospital Fund. If you click on the link here, and then here's the, here's the link right here. It'll take you straight to my campaign. All the money goes straight to St. Jude's. They are a great organization. They help fund uh, cancer research for children, and they also pay 100% of the bills for the families to get to the hospital, to stay at the hospital, and then for all the treatment and everything. It's all free. All the research that they do for, for cancer is given out freely. They don't try to hide, hide it and then resell it for money or anything like that. St. Jude's is a great charity, and I've always supported them. And right now I'm currently running a $100 campaign, so please help me. If this video helped you, do me a favor and donate just, just a dollar even. Just a dollar to my campaign, and I would greatly appreciate that. So that's the other thing. Now let's get to the meat and bones of this video, how we're going to set up the server. If you click on my server files right here in my website, I have a link here. These are for my Conan Exiles files, but these right here are to the Hellion ones. If you click on that, it takes you to my Dropbox. You can download the .bat. This is a really requested feature. People don't like to make it. If you want it made, this is all it is right here. Just click on this and then click the download button. You'll get it downloaded to your desktop. Then all you need to do is extract it, and I'll show you here in one second. So we're going to save it and click on it and then open it. Then all you need to do is extract this bad boy. So just hit extract all. And where you want to put it, for now, let's just put it on the desktop so you can find it real easy. Just hit extract. Now it's on the desktop, and I'm going to show you that here now. Right there, this Hellion start dot bat. That's that's what we're going to use here in a second. Um, if you need to download Steam CMD, that's what we're going to use to install the server. So if you don't already already have it, you're going to have to download it. So go to whatever your browser of choice is. Go to Google, type in Steam CMD. It's going to be this first link right here. And then we're going to do the Windows install today. So you want to click on the Windows link and click right here. It's going to download it for you. Hit OK. You want to go, you want to open it up and you want to extract it. You can put it anywhere you want, um, wherever you can remember where it's at. Don't put it in the program files or the program 86 files folder. Just don't do that. I recommend putting it in like your, right on your C drive maybe. That's what I've done. See, I, I made a folder right here, Steam CMD. I recommend you do it that, that way and then extract that Steam CMD in here. And the only file you'll see is this file. Unless you've already downloaded this, then you don't need to do these steps. But if this is the only file you see, go ahead and run it. It's going to download and populate this folder for you, and that's fine. Uh, once it's done, you should get you to add a Steam prompt like this. And you want to type in login anonymous. So login space anonymous, and then hit enter. And it's going to say connecting. And once it's done connected, you're back in a prompt. You want to type in app underscore update. And now we need the ID for the game. Um, I'm going to tell it to you right, right, real quick. I have up here. The ID for Hellion, the dedicated server, is going to be... so app underscore update space five nine eight eight five zero sorry I typed it wrong so five nine eight eight five zero then just hit enter and that's going to download all the hellion server files for you it may take a little bit depending on your connection speed but once it's done though you should be able to back in a prompt like this and just type in exit and hit enter now if you go into your common folder here you should see the the folder called Hellion Dedicated Server. Double click on that. And then you're going to be looking at uh, these files. You're not going to have as many as I have here, but we're going to get you here. So 
you want to go back out to where you downloaded that hellion start.bat folder from my website and you want to drop it in here. So drop it in this folder here. And I've already done that. Hellion start.bat right there it is. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go up here, you'll see a file called game server underscore example dot ini. You want to right click on that and hit copy. Copy it and then paste it in here. And then go up here to view if you haven't done this already on your files and then hit file name extensions, put a check mark there. And then in your copy that you just copied from this, you want to delete everything out except for game server dot ini. And then this is the one we're going to edit. You want to keep this one around. This is going to be your default in case something would happen to it. That way you can get back real easy. So you want to edit this. I always recommend Notepad++. It's free. Download it and use it. It's great. And I use it for all my server setups. And then you're going to see these values up here. You're not going to see max players because I added that one. But you're going to see these. These are the ones that you have to, you have to uh, edit to get the server running. So server name, you know, obviously whatever you want your server name to be. Description, same thing. Put in whatever description you want. None of that matters as long as something's there. Uh, for the server password, you put in your password. Uh, game ports you have to set. Um, I use these as my defaults. 5959 and 5960. Doesn't You can make it whatever you want. Just make sure that on your firewall or router you have those ports open um, and connected to your server. Otherwise, people aren't going to be able to join the server or see it in the server list. So... If you don't know how to forward a port on your router or firewall, Google your router model number with how to forward a port, and hopefully you'll find a guide that will help you. All of them are different, so I can't explain it to you because mine would be completely different than yours. So that's the best recommendations for that. Um, I added max players. You can set this to whatever you want. All these green values down here at the bottom, you can set up here at top. So for let's do save intervals here. So I already did max players where I just added it. So just go down to the bottom and copy it like I did, paste it in here, and delete the pound symbol in the front, and then put in equals, and a lot of these will give you a default value. So I can put, default's 900, I, and I'm pretty sure it's in seconds, obviously. Yes, yeah, it's value in seconds. Um, so I can make it whatever I want. Say I wanted it to save every 60 seconds. I just type in 60. And there, that's, that's changed now. If you, you don't have to put these in here, they'll default to their default value right here, which is 900 for saves, for instance. And you can change all kinds of stuff down here if you look down here through here. So pretty cool, pretty simple to do. Once you have everything you want set and, and ready to go, go up to File and hit Save. That's going to save all the changes that you made. Next thing we want to go down to is we finally want to run our Hellion uh, start.bat. So go ahead and run it. It's going to be real quick. It's going to pop up a window for a second. You may not even see it. and It's going to close. But what, what, what it did is it downloaded a couple files for you. It, it, downloaded or created, excuse me, the start all dot bat and the stop all dot, dot bat and the defaults that go with these. And that's what you want. This is how you're going to start your server and this is how you're going to stop your server. Now if we double click on the start all dot bat, you should see your server start to run and your server name should be whatever you set it as. And you should see your game ports and status ports here. And that's what you want. And if this is up and running, that means your server should be up and running. You may have to give it a couple minutes for it to get fully loaded before you can see it in the server list. but um, that's the way you're good to go. And then when you're ready to stop your server, you just run the stop all dot bat down here, and you'll see it shut down your server for you. That's the correct way to start and stop your server. They've also included an update dot bat, if you scroll down a little farther, right there. And if you run this, this updates your server files. So if they put out a new version of the game since you ran this, and you need to update to the new version, just go in this folder, double click this, and this will update your files for you. So it's really handy. That is all you need to do to have your server up and running. If this video helped you, please hit the follow and uh, like button on it. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me grow my community. And like I said, if you don't mind, please consider donating to my St. Jude's Research Charity, my charity drive. I have it running for two months, and I'd really like to hit my goal. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.